November 2018. Why, why you wanna leave me? Didn't we have fun together? The beautiful palace in Lisbon, seaside walks, delicious food, the drunken chat a bit about time travel, <laughs> a romantic trip to London. I mean, sure, the microneedling wasn't exactly a song and dance, and the workouts were tough, and that storm that got rid of the electricity, that was a bit shit, but, you know, I wanted to work through it, because that's what you do when you love someone. <laughs> Whatever. As Ariana would say, thank you. Next. But, hey, thumbs up for November, okay? Don't hate on her. She was great. She was part of the journey. Mel Melanie, shut up. It's a month. It's a month. Have, have fun. <laughs> Good morning, it's the 1st of November. I'm coming to you from the Tivoli, I think, hotel in Lisbon in Portugal. I'm not necessarily gonna vlog much of this trip, but I'm feeling kind of lonely, so I thought I would turn on my camera and do a bit of a get ready with me before I go to a rehearsal. I'm here to do some talks with Wella as a customer now for the past like, probably a year or so. They touched up my hair last night and I love it. It's kind of brown on top going down to this lovely like kind of flame color and it's all perfect for this time of year. And I know that these colors fade up really beautifully and naturally. That's why I love Wella colors so much and they never damage my hair or anything. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to prep for these speeches that we're doing in front of loads of people from Coty. Coty owns a lot of brands and I've worked with them quite a bit. They own like GHD and OPI nail varnishes and a bunch of stuff like that. But then um, I just uploaded last month's monthly vlog this morning and it's time to start a new one. But yeah, I am feeling very lonely because I was just, after getting unsettled in back in Ireland and then obviously, inevitably, the work trips have to begin again. Quick little bit of moisturizer first. My skin gets so dry at this time of year, it's madness. Um, I'm starting microneedling and that's actually starting in a few days for my acne scars So I might as well just get a close-up shot here because we're in front of a really big window This is the scarring that we're dealing with um, and this is from years of cystic acne I have the worst ones are on this side. Don't mind the fresh hyperpigmentation, but like see these pits all around here and um I think I'll do a separate video all about the treatment, but I'll definitely be documenting that in this vlog as well. So I'm gonna start with double wear stay in place, flawless concealer in light and just a touch of that around under my eye area and then around my nose because it gets very red. Estee Lauder double wear stay in place makeup in the shade Petal next. I don't have one of the makeup sponges I usually use. Um, with me because it was just in bits my my actual one so I'm just trying to make this look as natural <laughs> as I can. Incy bit of NARS orgasm blush on my cheeks. Foundation just gets rid of all of your colour and makes you look a bit dead. Then a smidge of contour and a smidge of highlight from my Charlotte Tilbury instant look in a palette. I don't have a brush for my highlights so I'm just gonna smear it on my finger. I'm using Clinique's Black Honey on my lips this is really it feels quite moisturizing and stuff and it is crazy autumnal it's kind of like a lip balm like the way it goes on now just a little bit of gimme brow in my brows i was sent out this makeup academy palette and the colors are stunning it's called cosmic vixen a little bit of translucent powder now and this is that chanel one that i told you guys i'm not that impressed with but i'm i'm gonna use it up because it cost me a lot of money and that is me ready for the day. Loneliness aside, there's something really magical about being in hotels on your own. You can just kind of be naked a lot. Although, this morning I was naked and see that window there, those people had their blinds all the way up and I just saw this couple in that window and I was lying here, tits out. Really hope they didn't see me. Really hope they don't have pictures of my tits because that's private there for Thomas. Let's go. So it's the next day now and I'm in this absolutely gorgeous gorgeous palace and this is where i'm going to be doing my talk i've got little little notes here but look this is really freaking me out i was here yesterday doing the rehearsal obviously and um <laughs> that's just me just there on the screen just chilling out with the models just as if i'm one of them <laughs> um i can't get over this room it's absolutely stunning look at the ceiling 
so pretty so there's a few rooms where there's different events on and i have to do the same talk four times over but it's fine it's kind of just more so talking about my experiences as like a client this morning a girl came to do my hair at 6 a.m and i just like rolled out of the bed like <laughs> and then someone else came to do my makeup and it's so pretty i just wish i could get a makeup artist and just make them live in my wardrobe and make me look like this every day <laughs> feel so nice when someone does my face. <laughs> I have to practice and then I just heard that we're going to a Michelin star restaurant later and I'm dying for that because you know me, love my food. This is the hair dye I always get, the new version which has this molecule. Then this is one of the other rooms, this is for OPI nail polish, very very colourful. Then there is this room which is for GHD and then the main kind of talk is on right now in this big room. How are you, my internet family? I'm uh, sorry, not sorry about this situation. I had to pop on a sheet mask. I flew back from Lisbon super early this morning and I feel like airplanes combined with, what's it called, aircon in hotels, eh, my eye, Ugh. They dry my skin out even more than the winter traditionally does. Comment down below if, like me, your skin gets so much drier and like prone to flakiness and stuff at this time of year. I love just lying down with one of these on my face playing music or reading a book. Actually, I'm gonna go and get um, the book I'm reading right now. It's called The Saviour's Champion. Oh, it's so good. So yeah, this is my current read. It's The Saviour's Champion by Jenna Morisi, who I've watched on YouTube. Action and romance and swearing. So many of my favourite things. I mean, I'm writing my own book, so I probably shouldn't be reading right now. You know I have this stack as well, which I showed you in my last video to get through. But uh, I just, I love reading. Um, and I don't read very fast anymore because I do so many different things all the time. It's very hard for me to find like a few hours every day to just dedicate to reading. No matter how slowly I truck through a book, I just try to get at least one finished every month. I used to read a book a week and I would like to get back to that but I'm, I'm not putting myself under pressure anytime soon because I'm writing and I have a two book deal so once this one is finished and then the rewrites and the editing and stuff it's right on to the next one. So my really good cousin John who my brother and I spent a lot of time with growing up we were both such weirdos and we were both in a band together. <laughs> Our band was called Shenanigans and we would write our own songs and I will have to make him perform some of the songs in a video with me for you guys, they're hilarious. But yeah, we were always so close, we have such a similar sense of humour. Anyway, he's, yeah, he's back from Scotland and we're gonna be going down to meet him now for dinner and some drinks. Him and my boyfriend Thomas are like best mates, they've been really good friends for years and that's one of the reasons why nothing happened between me and Thomas for such a long time like uh, my cousin wasn't very pro his mate going out with his cousin just because obviously like oh well what if it falls apart and that's always a worry when you're dating a friend and you're both in the same friend group but sure like if you were to go through life not doing things out of worrying about the end results like you'd have no memories you'd have no life fuck that shit once existed between elves and men which Lord of the Rings movie are you on now? <laughs> Number two. Aww. Yeah, we used to watch the Lord of the Rings movies over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Dad, you didn't say hi to the vlog last month, by the way. You were fucking in Spain. When I got back, who missed my dad? <laughs> Look what Thomas brought for me as a welcome home present, even though I was only away for four, three nights. <laughs> it's Baby Groot. Love Guardians of the Galaxy. It's one of my favourite movies. I really like your coat, actually. Very Thanks. looking, looking very stylish. Yeah. Um, I want tea, but also wouldn't make sense seeing as we're going to get wine or cocktails or one of each because I can have two. Say hi. I'm staying here. <laughs> Are you having a cozy watching Lord of the Rings? <laughs> yeah, I'm having a cozy. Oh. Don't you stop me. Do you want me to get back in there? No, all I need is my blankie. <laughs> I put the light on. No. What are you gonna do? Hi. 
mom, we need to go. <laughs> you said seven. Yeah, but we want to go down early now. No. Come on. No. We're going now. Come I'm on. I'm staying here with Paul. No, Paul's coming. You're meant to call him dad. I thought you were calling him dad too. <laughs> I thought Thomas calls my dad dad. It's like, hey dad. And then my dad's like, hey Hi, son. son. <laughs> <laughs> Would you not think it'd be weird if I was calling your parents mom and dad? Because <laughs> you call your parents by their first names. <laughs> Get up now. I'm having a cozy. So I sent you over to um, bombard my cousin on Instagram and you are calling him sexy. I'm not happy with this. Well, no, it's, it's grand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can also be okay. a one. Put them chest hairs away. <laughs> I said annoy him. I didn't say come on. No, it's fine though. But it's totally fine. I'm coming after you. Stop being creepy with my cousin. He's my blood. My blood. I have a photograph in your hand of a male person, okay? Yeah. And I say, uh, brothers and sisters, I have known. But that man's father is my father's son. Who is it? Who's in the picture? You're. Uh, you. You. You're in the picture. It's you. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. This argument went on for 20 years in my family. No brothers and sisters. Yeah. No, because. So can't be our nephew. No, yeah. He, <laughs> so you can only travel forward in time, I believe. Because say you could go back and then kill your granddad. <laughs> no, because the time you would never be born, so the time machine happen. wasn't invented then, John. That's I know. That's what I'm saying. You can't go to the past because if you go to the past and kill your <laughs> your dad before yeah. he had you, <laughs> therefore, how how would you be there? <laughs> Yeah, but how would I be there to kill him? So how would he be dead? But that's what I'm saying. So you could never go into the past in the first place. If you have a time machine and, yes. you're, and you're and you have the ability to go back in time, yes. that means you never kill your granddad. Good. But what that is, means this time is, you go back and kill your granddad, yes. and your granddad is dead. So then you could never exist. Yes. Or if you go back and your granddad kills you, no. Then he has an entirely new future where he doesn't have a son, where and his son doesn't have a son. So then. You didn't it technically exist, so who would you have killed to go to prison? Dad! <laughs> That's what he sounds like! <laughs> Halloween is over! We've just seen four sets of twins and all of the cute dogs. There's a glitch in the matrix. Yeah. Why is there so many twins? Is twins common? Like, how common is it to have twins? Because if I had twins, I'd probably just give one of them away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll give one away and then they'll find each other years later. We'll give each of them one half of a medallion. And then years later, they'll combine the medallion. And that's just a happy day for everyone. Well, what happens when they combine the medallion? <laughs> they're, they're together. Yeah, but is there no like magic explosion or like... Magic isn't real. <laughs> I've always wanted to turn that into a house. Obviously, I would never be able to do that, but that's my dream. What? I want to build that into a house. Like, there's oh, that one, and then I'll there's the one. There's one out on the herb. Oh, we watched Lord of the Rings: Return of the King this morning with my dad, and oh, yeah. I really want a hobbit hall door. Right, let me recap the last few days for you. So, aside from riding a bunch and wandering around my village and getting in dem workouts mainly to keep me sane while I write a novel and live inside my head with all these people who don't exist. Um, I got something quite long awaited done the other day. It was a cosmetic procedure and it wasn't surgery, but it's something that I've wanted to get done. God, for years now, um, ever since my acne, cleared up because uh, I documented my journey with acne on this channel that's actually how my channel kind of started getting subscribers and stuff like that because I had chronic cystic acne as a teen and then I got adult acne and I filmed the video while it was active and then kind of documented getting rid of it and stuff and now my skin is clear but obviously I've been left with a lot of acne scars and things and while I am kind of really comfortable going outside with them people seeing them yes I show them on the internet and so many more people have seen my skin up close on here than will ever see it in real life. 
and I've had every nasty comment under the sun spoken to me about my skin. I talked about that in a chapter in my book, Fully Functioning Human Almost, becoming known as the acne girl and what that was like. But um, I still always wanted to see if it's possible to treat the ice pick scars and the worst scars that I have on my face. So I've began a little bit of a skin journey with micro needling and I'm getting it done in therapy clinic. They're a very popular clinic here in Ireland and I've heard a lot of amazing reviews from people that I know and trust about that clinic. So um, I've had the first of minimum six sessions of this treatment done and I am gonna do an entire video about my journey with microneedling but I, I want to kind of show the progress in these videos as well and kind of just tell you a little bit what what it's like in case you don't end up watching the more like the feature on it it's a treatment with results that last a very long time because it's not like they're it's not like injections or a peel or anything like that they trick your skin into producing more collagen and you know like renewing itself and all that kind of thing with this pen that has these mini needles on the end and they numb your face and then they run this pen with these needles all over your face and obviously I'm going to study this up and go into depth in a standalone video um but yeah it was not painful the main reason I put it off for so long is because I thought it would be sore there's this downtime where you get it done and your face is quite red like quite red and um, the following day after I got it done this is what my face looked like it stayed red for about two three days and then it was very peely and dry and tight um but today is the first day that it's been kind of back to normal and I just have a bit of bare minerals makeup on today and I'm using this range of products now um Environ and a lot of you may have heard of Environ I have heard rave reviews about this over the years. It's quite pricey, um, but I just, I wanted to invest in my skincare now that I'm, you know, approaching 30 and I just kind of would rather maintain my skin, keep it in good condition rather than when I'm older, like going and getting facelifts and injections and all that kind of stuff. Um, to me, this is like a cheaper alternative to all that. And it's less invasive. While your face is filled with these holes, I think, the products can penetrate your skin better or something like that so they kind of recommended using like really good products there's a pre-cleansing oil a cleanser a toner a moisturizer eye cream that i'm using from this range and i'll review them when i've been using them long enough to know if they're worth the money and yeah i don't want to recommend microneedling just yet because obviously i need to see the results and have evidence that there is good results but i was told from the first session that it may take six weeks ish to really see the result of it um because you know when like you really like damage your skin say and you get a scab and then it heals over and like new skin grows and all that something like that but you can look it up if you don't know much about it uh anyway i'm gonna stop blabbering now but i've had a great few days had a little movie night last night with my boyfriend and my sister and another friend of ours Eamon he's cool and now Thomas is on his way over to me and I'm gonna make some vegetarian spaghetti bolognese let's go I'm starving I've had little candles on the go but I think we need to cozify the room by getting a fire there's my boy pulling up outside lives that they barely noticed they had a daughter Matilda now look what you did they named her Matilda <laughs> I was gonna stop vlogging tonight, but oh my god, we're so we're watching more of the haunting of hit was a hot The Haunting um, of Hill House episode eight. Yeah. About uh, thirty five minutes in. <laughs> I swear to god I've never been I've never gotten a fright like a jump scare that much, but he do I have sauce on my face? No. He he was lying on my shoulder <laughs> and we were like cuddling and something happened in the show and then I screamed and I was like clawing at him and then because of what was happening on screen as well it was like it was real for him and he just screamed as well and the two of us were there like ah! <laughs> you scared the shit out of me I, I started crying I, the show made me jump but then I had this thing just like attacking me from the side and then I turned around you were bawling I'm not a thing you were bawling your just... eyes out I'm not a thing. I'm a I'm a nap 
queen. You're enough. You are enough queen. That's all I am. <laughs> <laughs> I have a meeting with my management today about tax stuff and just upcoming jobs and an exciting launch that's happening on Friday but I've popped to my dad's factory because this is actually where I have stuff shipped I don't have an actual PO box and definitely not one open to the public because I don't want any of you ever thinking you have to send me anything because I don't need anything but I've come to see if my journals have arrived and you'll know all about that if you watch my channel you'll have already seen my what i actually eat in a week video where i did the announcement of the journals but if it arrived it should have arrived to here yeah look big nice stash on my dad's office chair this is where my dad likes to do all of his all of his lovely work this is what i've ordered to wear to the harry potter event next week in the harry potter studios in london i ordered from asos Ooh. Oh my god. Is that gonna be on your website? Uh, yeah, I'll link to it. Um, it's too shaky in the car to show you. If you don't keep up with me on social media and stuff, or my last video, you might have missed the pre-orders, which guaranteed that people would have it by Christmas if they wanted it for like a Christmas present or anything like that. But I feel like this is a great investment for the new year. That whole hashtag you, new year, new me kind of bollocks. But like literally any time of year, really. Don't worry if you can't um, get one of the first batches. Like we're not going to only have it as a limited edition thing. If anything, I feel like if they sell well, I'll have be able to bring out different covers and different versions with different focuses and stuff like that. It's called the Me Time collection and a collection isn't just one but this is the first and i i'm i'm in love very happy with it are you gonna get one da uh, you're gonna get one one of my I, journals you sell it to me cheap <laughs> cheap you want a discount <laughs> bitch please didn't uh, this lovely lady here Rebecca just did my, my makeup uh, we're in MUA in Skerries and this is your little my little studio yes yeah um, and I'm wearing so what she's put on my face is Jane Iredale makeup yes Jane and, Iredale skincare makeup yeah and it's a uh, mineral makeup right yeah all mineral all skincare all good ingredients yeah. for your skin because I'm a bit paranoid now, you know, since I got the microneedling done, I was showing you the other day, I'm so paranoid of what I'm putting on my face because the woman was saying to me about like what you put on your face, like almost gets absorbed into your skin. So yeah, I'm absolutely going to wear this for the day and see how it wears. And she's given me little, where are they gone? Little pots to try. And if I like this, I'm probably going to switch over and I'll just, I'll tell you all about what that's like but I think that the eye makeup is deadly I can't do this myself I'm always complaining <laughs> about my eye makeup <laughs> it's just the I'll green show you how to do it you do yes. lessons don't you absolutely yeah. pop in for some makeup yeah. lessons if you're in like the scaries area this is like the village where I live obviously but I know I have some Balbriganers and Balbriganers all right so I'm going to meet my friend Simon now and he's going to get my launch pictures for me it's really windy out so I have this around my hair to protect it so it doesn't get all knotty I look like E.T. A stylish E.T. hopefully. <laughs> We're not in Dublin anymore. Welcome. Last thing I vlogged was in Dublin and now we're in London and we're looking very swanky just a little bit swanky we're looking very Gryffindor yeah Good on my 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 lion I love that we're matching and <laughs> we did not expect our room to match this just looks way more set up yeah. than it is we got here and Mel was just like uh, give us your coolest room and they were like <laughs> Where, which which floor is the red room on? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're just like, for fuck's sake. <laughs> um, so we, we've come to London just for one night. Um, we're going to the Yule Ball, essentially. It's an event in the Harry Potter studio, which I vlogged at a couple of years ago. They, you guys probably haven't seen it, a lot of you. So it's gonna be a very Harry Potter filled <laughs> evening. And uh, yeah, today has been a shitstorm and a half. Yeah. Um, I spent most of the day looking like an armpit, just like this. This boy 
Oh, where do we begin with this boy? We were about I, to get on our airplane. I put my passport in my pocket and then when I got to the gate, it wasn't in my pocket. It was on my couch at home. Yeah. And then we had to get on another flight and we were waiting in the airport for hours. Uh, but we laughed it off, didn't we? We laughed it off. <laughs> 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 I'm so tired. We've been up since 5 a.m. and it's now, yeah. we've been up for 12 hours solid. And now we got to go and meet some of my friends, some who you have met and some who you have not met, who are other YouTubers. And um, we're looking fly. <laughs> That's it. Us. <laughs> we. How unreal is this room though, literally. And also, doesn't he look pretty fine, like? You look pretty fine, how about that? No, stop distracting from my compliments. Fine. <laughs> I love this rose chandelier. It's probably my favorite thing about the room, but it's just such a sexy room. It's very sexy. Sexy. Sexy Yeah, we're in Kensington. The hotel is called The Exhibitionist. So uh, 10 out of 10 would recommend, but they don't have food. It's the only bad thing, you know. They have a snack man. They have a snacky thing. Snacks. Yeah, but I like snacks. Snack. Snack. <laughs> I like nice big dishes. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your dishes? Where do you keep your dishes? <laughs> yeah, look. Oh, baby, did you see into the little house down there? Yeah. So pretty. I'm sorry I'm filming into your sitting room, guys, but um, this is such yeah, a beautiful this, view. This. So I've already ironed this and it's already creased and I'm wearing my Sex in the City shoes. <laughs> How excited are you for Hogwarts? I'm so excited. So excited that we're late. Hey, don't comment on our lateness. Um, <laughs> this is my, my full dress. This is like the shape of it, but it's, yeah, it's very easily creased. So I'm not sure I made a good choice. I think it's lovely. You're very sweet. <laughs> At least I don't look like an armpit anymore. An armpit. Where are you taking me? Uh, look, Molony. Molony. <laughs> My little sister sometimes calls me Molony instead of Melanie. And we spelled it out for her and sent her a pic. Yeah. Because we're thinking of her. Miss you, Jess. Jessie's sick today. I'm sad. I did invite her to this, but she's not that into Harry Potter. She doesn't hate Harry Potter, but she's just not like mad about it. Um, I bet you a lot of my viewers don't love Harry Potter as much as I do. So let me know. How You've got something they? on your face. Oh, Jesus. Um, no, it's gone. Um, comment if you're massive into Harry Potter like me or if you're not, because it'd be interesting to know if you don't appreciate the Harry Potter content. <laughs> oh, our mate, he's not very happy. I knew I'd see you in the mirror. <laughs> the happiest people in the world will look in the mirror and see themselves exactly as they are.
to the pop studio. You fucking mentioned anything about me being Hufflepuff. Like, oh He's out. He's just been like. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> no, but I've seen the look on your face. You said look at your eyes. <laughs> and also comedy. Don't steal things in real life, followers of Melanie Murphy. Hannah Witten, yeah. thank you for your socks. You're welcome. My feet are actually falling apart. I'm a true Hufflepuff. You are. Fuck these heels anyway. Fuck. I'm never ever wearing those shoes again. They were so expensive. Like you guys probably remember when I bought them and I've only ever worn them on days where I had to have them on for like short amounts of time like these these ones they're from the sex in the city movie i got the green version as a treat to myself when my first book got published and they're so painful i don't know if it's just that like they don't fit me anymore and i need to get them stretched or something but they were agonizing i've worn them before for like an hour at a time or something but i had them on for hours this evening and we were doing quite a lot of walking my feet are all cut up baby your feet my feet but yeah, Hannah went and gave me these little socks and I'll treasure them. I told her I'm gonna buy her fancy socks when I visit her. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try and come over to London before Christmas to just see a few of my mates. And yeah, I'm gonna have to source some very exquisite socks for Mrs. Witten. For now, we're gonna go sleep and enjoy this amazing bed. Oh, 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 oh. I've definitely made too much breakfast. Yeah, that your lunch as well. <laughs> this is literally just for me and Thomas. I made one I made one porridge that's kind of really like like cement and I made one nice goopy goopy porridge and then I made a toast, a sourdough toast with eggs and a sourdough toast with eggs and we've got coffees. And we've got OJ. And do you know why we need all of this food? Yes, yeah, so myself and Mr. Mr. Man over there have been back in Ireland for a few days but I haven't vlogged and then last night we went to like a family gathering thing and it was so Christmassy that I literally woke up and I wanted to put on this Christmas jumper wasn't it unreal it was like there was a Christmas tree and we had Christmas crackers and I was wearing a Christmas hat Christmassy music and uh, it was basically a Christmas dinner in November <laughs> <laughs> and now I really want to put up the tree, but my dad has told me, when am I allowed to put up the tree, Dad? Can I put it up on the first? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I had a bottle of wine last night, which was a very bad idea. We've been awake for hours and I was just kind of lying there with this thumping headache. Uh, so, I'm going to try and, I don't know, I want to try and drink as little as I can coming up to Christmas, because at Christmas a lot of the social gatherings revolve around drink. <laughs> So there's been a power cut and I've just realised how bloody reliant on electricity I am. We don't have a kettle, we don't have a microwave, we don't have the oven, we don't have plugs to charge our phones, to charge our laptops. There's no telly, there's no water because we have an electric shower. Uh, there's, there's nothing, it's like an apocalypse. I don't know what the name of the storm is but some storm is after hitting and uh, we're going to have to now go on a little adventure out in this disgusting, disgusting weather. Minging weather and uh, try and find plugs because <laughs> we can't. Oh! <laughs> you bitch! No! <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a really cool, really hot dance. Her milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, where did you get that scarf? It's really cool. Is it from pennies? I want one for my neck. Basically, we can't work without the internet. Have to do bloody emails. Um, oh my God, what am I? Jesus, get me we're, we're fashion. <laughs> we're, we're hashtag internet sensations. Oh man, I can't do it. This has all of her hair. Smushed Look, I'm in. wearing red tracks, your bottoms on it, and a fancy jacket, it doesn't go. <laughs> you look really young. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're being up the street. I can't see. That was a fail, everywhere was closed, so Thomas has come to save us. <laughs> 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 Literally, like, the, the food place. 
where we figured we'd go and just do some email things. It's closed. Um, a big trampoline blew out in front of my friend's car as well. It just literally feels like the end of the world. I got him out of his onesie to come and collect me. <laughs> got, him out, talk about my wounds. got him out of his gym jam. So it's a few hours later, I've got the bro, I've got the boy, I've got the face. And um, a little gym opened up literally two, three minutes walk from where we live. And I feel so lucky because the other gym was quite a track away, probably half an hour, and it was putting me off going. So I was starting to get a little bit lazy. And I, I kept walking by here going, wouldn't it be just great if a gym just randomly opened up around the corner? And somehow, like I didn't think there would be anywhere for them to fit in a gym. And this one looks really cool. It's called Black Rose Gym. And we got yeah. like a... See, blind fate working yeah, again. it does. Blind fate always works. Yeah. That's the trick. That's the trick. Buy my book. <laughs> he doesn't have a book. <laughs> he wants to write a book called Blind Fate, but it's not going to yeah, happen. It's like the secret, except you get everything you want <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> if you live in Scaries or Babrig in that kind of area, check out Black Rose Gym. Might run into each other. And they did a discounted rate for the year membership on the first day, which is brilliant. Um, 250 euro for an entire year of the gym, which you don't get that in many places. Look, all the Christmas lights are on the trees. We need to be rocky again. Remember when we were rocky back in February? Oh, February. <laughs> go check be, out, go check out February's a Christmas, vlog. A Christmas rocky. Okay, Christmas rocky. Do a little stretchy McStretcherson. Oh, I feel like I haven't stretched in like a week. Okay. Oh, I've just been like sitting, writing and editing videos and things. And oh my fuck. Jesus Christ, my legs are stiff. Ow. So yeah, I forgot to end the vlog. So I'm gonna end the vlog here and I'm gonna continue in next month's vlog tonight. Gonna do the transition. You ready? What's, what's the transition? It's a clip. What? Oh, is that where I go like this? No, what? Oh, all right. <laughs> what?